it's pretty likely that you're probably already using vitamin C supplements to improve your immune system or as a general antioxidant. But did you know that there's another molecule out there that can act as an antioxidant up to 100 times stronger than vitamin C itself? What's up guys, my name is Lucas and in today's video, I'm gonna explore some of the benefits of a compound known as carbon 60 and specifically, I'm gonna look at some of its impressive research to improve the overall human condition. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please do me a favor and like this video, hit that subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or comments throughout the video, leave them below as I do my best to respond to each and every single one. So of course, today I'm here to explore some of the impressive benefits of a compound known as carbon 60. The information depicted in this presentation is purely for informational purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. This is not medical advice. Of course, it's very important to understand and look at what carbon 60 actually is. So carbon 60 is a fullerene with a polyhedral carbon structure composed of around 60 to 80 carbon atoms in pentagon and hexagon configuration. It is in fact named after Buckminster Fuller because of its structural resemblance to geodesic domes. C60 is considered a powerful antioxidant that has effects on unsaturated fats in the body and it removes superoxide, which is a toxic byproduct of cellular metabolism that can contribute to tissue injury in many types of human diseases. Here you can see a visual diagram of the carbon 60 structure and the molecule itself. It shares close resemblance to a soccer ball and you can see the different carbon molecules in the diagram here. Is carbon 60 considered stronger than vitamin C or how does it compare to other antioxidants that we know in research? Well, carbon 60 has some extremely potent antioxidant properties and this is possibly how it contributes to extending lifespan and is considered a GRO protector, which I'll explore very soon. So you can see here that carbon 60 compares to all of these other known antioxidants. You can see blueberries at the top. And what this is measuring is the ORAC score. So it's an ORAC value, which is the oxygen radical absorbance capacity. So you can see that blueberry scored 6,552 on the ORAC score rating. And then in the middle, you can see something like turmeric, which got a score of 159,277. And then carbon 60 at a whopping 750,000 as a ORAC score, which is super high. And this would likely explain some of its anti-aging properties, which I'll touch on very shortly. So to further illustrate this, carbon 60 is considered much stronger than ubiquinone, which is coenzyme Q10. Carbon 60 actually outperforms coenzyme Q10, which again has some very impressive research to support mitochondrial function, heart health, brain health. And you can see here that in this study titled fullerene based antioxidants and neurodegenerative disorders, they found that carbon 60 prevented fat peroxidation and iron induced oxidation in cells more potently than coenzyme Q10 itself. So carbon 60 outperforms coenzyme Q10 in that department. This study here looked at how carbon 60 can fight wrinkles or wrinkle formation. The title of the study was known as fullerene is effective against wrinkles and it was completed in the journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. What they noted was that compared to other antioxidants, carbon 60, shows higher thermostability, photostability, and antioxidant activity as compared to vitamin E and vitamin C. So again, a clear cut benefit 
of carbon 60 over our mainstream antioxidants. So this is the big question. Does C60 truly enhance or extend lifespan? Is carbon 60 considered a geroprotective agent like metformin and spermidine? This study noted that carbon 60 administration doubles rat lifespan with no toxicity. So this study was extremely appealing to researchers as the data demonstrated that C60 had an anti-aging effect by combating the age-associated increase in oxidative stress. The authors noted that these results are of importance in the fields of medicine and toxicology and that C60 can be administered orally and it is now produced in a way that can be consumed by humans, it also possesses minimal toxicity. In addition, they also noted that since 1993, countless studies showed that fullerene C60 and its derivatives exhibit paramount potentialities in several fields of biology and medicine, mainly including specific DNA cleavage, imaging, UV and radio protection, it has antiviral, antioxidant, and anti-amyloid, which is um, reducing the buildup of a plaque associated with Alzheimer's, reducing the allergic response. It has angiogenic inhibitory activity, immune stimulating activity. It has anti-tumor effects. It enhances the effects of neurite outgrowth like lion's mane. It can also help with gene de delivery and even hair growing activity. So you can see that C60 truly does have some very exciting research and of course that is why i'm here talking to you about this today in addition this study here looked at how c60 can fight insulin resistance effect of c60 fullerene nanoparticles on the diet induced obesity in rats and what the authors concluded was that these data indicate that water soluble pristine c60 fullerenes reduce chronic inflammation restore glucose homeostasis as well as positively affect on prooxidant antioxidant homeostasis. C60 fullerenes could be represented as a promising therapeutic agent in the treatment of obesity and its related complications. So of course, you're probably wondering the dosages on C60. I will be leaving a link to C60 fullerene in olive oil down below. So you'll see a link in the video description to purchase C60 fullerene. And on that site, they'll also provide you with a human dosage calculator, which will help to determine the recommended dose um, based on your body weight. So usually though, most people see benefits from using about one teaspoon daily of C60 suspended in either olive oil or MCT oil. Guys, I hope you learned something new. I hope this video was interesting. Please be sure to check out my other social media channels, my podcast, join my newsletter in the video description below. Check out all of my other amazing resources on my website. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.